it's it could be a gamble to go out there without your sunscreen today. Oh yeah, you're definitely <laughs> going to need it. That UV index is going to skyrocket. I'll have that outlook in just a moment. Let's start with current conditions. Pikes Peak losing a lot of its snowfall. We'll see more snow melt this weekend and our riverways will start to increase for stream flow, which is great for rafting. Not the best if you're going fishing this weekend. 74 degrees right now in Colorado Springs. So Pueblo 65 this morning, beautiful and green at the Riverwalk, and it should be a gorgeous start to the day, nice and comfortable. And again, most of us are in the 60s and 70s to start today, but this afternoon is going to get quite hot. The hottest weather we've had so far this year, but not record breaking today up to 92 in Pueblo and 88 in the Springs. Will be mostly sunny with just a few afternoon clouds. And generally, our winds will be really light today. So we'll find more of those 90s along the Arkansas River and elsewhere in the plains will be into the mid to upper 80s and into our lower mountain valleys like Salida up to 85, West Cliff 79 today. And the reason why we are hot is because most of the country has high pressure in place and this heat's really gonna take over most of the US except for the Pacific Northwest where Seattle will be at 62, Las Vegas and Phoenix at 108. Here in the springs, 88 today, so toasty, but not scorching. But the sun will be out in full blast today. So that UV index topping out at 10 to 11, which means you're going to burn very easily. So definitely apply sunscreen every couple of hours. Don't let that surprise you today. In terms of the sky conditions, we've got very little cloud cover, just a few straight clouds in northwestern Colorado, but we do have enough moisture in the mountains that will lead to some convection and some thunderstorms this afternoon. So do be watching for those building cumulus clouds and then a few showers through the mid afternoon hours, staying in the higher elevations until later this evening. A few of these showers may make it into the higher elevations of Fremont and Teller County and then into the the San Luis Valley as well. So overnight will be dry and clear across the region. Sunday will start out with mostly sunny conditions. Sunday we have a better chance at some of these mountain thunderstorms making it to I-25. So they'll develop mid-afternoon, move towards I-25 by the late afternoon and early evening. And a few of those showers might last into the eastern plains, but not a ton of moisture from that system moving in. In general, tonight we're going to drop to the 50s, and tomorrow more 80s and 90s in the plains. Slightly cooler, though, because we'll have more clouds and that chance of a rumble of thunder. But then after that, we're dry as a bone. Next week is looking hot and clear. For Pueblo, we've got mostly 90s in that extended outlook and really just a chance of thunderstorms for tomorrow. And after that, we're going to be dry for some time. I'm not super worried yet about this dry weather because we ended up May with two to three times what we typically see in terms of rainfall. So we're still looking good. Canyon City, we're in the 80s and 90s in your outlook with afternoon thunderstorms this weekend. And afternoon thunderstorms are possible in Woodland Park this weekend as well too. But next week we're going to be in the upper 70s and 180 on Tuesday and looking dry.